Hi, Nick Stoddome from Online Guitar Tuition again. I hope you caught my previous video on reading tab and so on and so forth. Uh, how to remember the string names and just basically how to play notes. It's a good introduction to playing the guitar if you've never played the guitar before. Um, if you've subscribed to the channel, you'll be able to see it on there. I'll put a link below the video if not. Uh, this is a follow-on video, just an introduction to chords, two finger chords really. Um, a lot of chords use more than two fingers, but we just want to keep it to two for now, just for uh, to keep it to keep things simple. And we're going to use the song "Boulevard of Broken Dreams" by Green Day as an example. Um, quite an easy song. It's only really four chords in the first bit. It's not the whole song. It's the verse and the chorus and so on. So um, let's start by looking at tablature and chord sheets. Well, chord diagrams for playing chords. So hopefully you're familiar with both uh, or one of these. Um, tablature is not ideal for chords. The chord diagrams are probably better, but uh, if tab's what you know, then I follow that. So let's see, our first chord is an E minor chord. Now the lesson sheets are available below the video, so uh, download those. And E minor's got two fingers, like all the chords, chords in this, all four chords. So we're going to start, put our finger on fret 2, on the A string, the second string down from the top, and a finger on the D string, also on fret 2. So this is our first chord. Small m means minor in music. If you see E, small m, D, small m, that always means minor when they're talking about chords. So we're going to do two strums for each chord. And this is our first one, E minor. So remember, two, two, strum, strum, okay, and then our first chord change. Now these are the hard, the hardest things about chords really, playing individual chords, not too difficult. When you need to make the change, that's when, that's where the practice needs to be done, because you don't get much time, it's pretty much instantaneous. So when you see people making chord changes, their fingers are sort of synchronized and they all move at once. So. A quick tip about that is we don't, we're not trying to do that first of all, we're just going to move two fingers. Don't bother trying to move them both at once. I say move them one at a time. I'm going to leave a little uh, chord tips sheet on the, um, the lesson description as well about a few things you can do to practice chord, uh, your chord changes. So one of the things you can do is try, is don't worry about making the changes all at once. Make them with individual fingers. So you'll go one, two, and then you're looking to go just make the change in one like that. If there were three, like for instance, if you're trying to play a D chord, you would make your first, you put your first finger down, then the other two. And this is how people make chord changes, first of all. Like, they're going to be staggered. That's, you know, that's one of the difficulties. And then eventually it becomes two motions and then it becomes just one. Another tip is try not to remember where all the fingers go, first of all. Just think, where does the first finger go? And then a lot of the time, the you know the other fingers will lead on from that one. If you know where the first finger goes here, then you, it's, you know, your memory will go, oh yeah, that's where the second finger goes. Likewise with this chord, finger one goes here, finger two goes here. So chord two is the G chord. Again, not a full G chord with three fingers or four fingers, just two fingers for now, which is why it's called a G6, which we won't go into today. So, first finger again on the two, but this time second finger on the three on the top string, two on the A, three on the top E. Four, two. Again, strum all six strings. We're not that bothered about trying to hit individual strings or just four strings and that kind of thing today. So, back to chord one, E minor, two and the two, chord two, G, two and three, okay. So, chord three is this D sus chord, which is two on the G string, three on the B string. Again, up to you which fingers you use, I use these fingers because it's like a regular D chord with this finger off. So 
You can try to hit all f the four strings, but if you hit all six, it's not going to be the end of the world. I mean, it's up to you. Just a bit more advanced. Some chords don't use all six strings. Two strums, as we said before. So that's chord three. The final chord, this A sus chord, very similar to the E, just on the strings below. So we, an easy way to find it, go back to the E minor, if you can remember that, and just hop your fingers down a string, two and two. It's a five, chord, a five string chord, you can hit all six if you want, the E would be part of the chord, so it doesn't really matter. So that's chord four, so we've got chord one, two, three, two strums for each, remember, and four. Okay, so another tip you'll see on the sheet is when you're trying to play a chord, a particular chord, so you're going to learn E minor, rather than have to think about all four chords, play your E minor chord, and then you can lift your fingers off, put them back on, on the E minor. You can play it to make sure it's right, lift the fingers off, put them back on again. We're just kind of teaching the hand really, getting the muscle memory going as far as remembering how the E minor goes. Same with the G, lift the hand off, put it back on again. Another one, once you know the chords a bit better you can sort of take the strumming hand out of the equation and just make the chord changes. We're just concentrating on the left hand or the right hand if you're left handed and just making the chord changes, like phantom chord changes if you like. The only problem with this I wouldn't do it straight away uh, is because you won't be able to tell what the chords sound like. So if you're making mistakes, then you won't know. So, but it's just a good, I'm just concentrating on the left hand for now. Just concentrating on making left hand movements. Okay, the other thing you can see on the bottom of the sheet here is the little melody thing, which is played on the bottom E. So we already know how to read single note tab, I'm sure. So it starts on fret two and goes two, three, and it's up to seven, five, back to two, three. So you can play the chords through a couple of times, then play the melody, then play the chords again. Um, that's what it does on the record. So um, try to use two fingers when you play, you can play it with one finger, but this is one of these kind of bad habits that beginners probably don't know about. I mean, kids do it all the time. I've got uh, some of my kids' students who've been playing for years and we're trying to get them to play with more than one finger is a nightmare half the time because it's just less to think about. But it's not ideal, obviously. We want to divide up the workload between all four fingers if possible. So we probably use fingers one, two and maybe three, one, back to one, two, to play this. Okay, the other thing to do as well is try to move away from the sheet as soon as possible. The sheet, the music is a distraction as far as, you know, I mean, for, for all, all the attention you have to put onto the sheet and the music is diverted away from the guitar. So, you know, it's a kind of swings and roundabout situation because obviously it's harder to remember how the chords go and it, it's nice to have the sheet in front of you as a reminder, but it is also, a, um, you know, it will also inhibit your memory and that kind of thing. So the best way to do that, take the sheet, play the chord, flip the sheet over, see, if you, see how well you can play it, and then turn back and see how you did. But it's just best to get the song into your uh, memory as quickly as possible so you can move away from the sheet. Okay, I think that's about it for today. Uh, as I say, there's the previous videos. I'll subscribe to the channel and um, there'll be plenty more of these beginning guitar videos. Um, the sh lesson sheet is available in the link below, as is uh, the chord tip sheet. And um, I provide online guitar lessons um, for my site, onlineguitartuition.co.uk. There's a link there too. Also, uh, lessons face-to-face -face if you live in the Tarpoli area. But uh, yeah, please like this video, subscribe to the channel if it's been helpful, and um, hope to see you soon.